Do the working class in America and the poor even have a say in democracy? I mean, democracy for who? Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, let's pick up your phone calls here. John in Minneapolis. Hey, John, what's on your mind today? Yeah, um, you know, it's interesting. Neoliberalism has failed colossally uh, to create a really equitable and healthy society. It's just obvious uh, to so many people. You hear this uh, theme over and over and over again, but the Republican Party just keeps doubling down on it, no matter how uh, untrue it is. You know, it is. And well, that's because the other word for neoliberalism is Reaganism. And it's from Reaganism on, and it's created such an unequal uh, society. You cannot have a democracy unless people have uh, money. You know, in other words, if they have wealth and resources to be able to exercise freedom. The only people in this society are the very top that actually have freedom. The rest of us are under a, uh, a pyramid of oppression with black and brown people at the bottom. That's it, you know. Yeah. Franklin yeah. Roosevelt said in, in his acceptance speech in 1936, um, mm -hmm. or maybe it was in, in, no, yeah, it was his acceptance speech. It was not his, uh, I was thinking about his uh, first inaugural address. That was where he said the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That was in, in mm -hmm. uh, March of 32. But in 36, he said, necessity, he said, quoting an old English judge, necessitous uh -huh. men are not free men. You are no. not free if you're hungry. You're not free if you're homeless. You're not free if you don't have a job. You're not free if, you're, if, if, if you don't have access to health care. You're not free if you want to have an education and you can't get it. These are the essential ingredients of freedom that have been adopted and accepted by every developed democracy in the world except the United States. And the single exception of the United States is the result of one party's continuously fighting this issue, and that's the Republican Party. Period. Full stop. The Republican Party does not want you to have health insurance that covers everything no. under all circumstances that you don't have to pay for. The Republican Party does not want you and your children to be able to go to college unless no. you graduate so badly in debt that you'll take any crap job that's out there. The Republican Party does not want you to have food available to you if you lose your job and, and you know everything goes to hell. The Republican Party does not want you to have housing available to you if you end up homeless because you, you, know, you missed three months payment on your rent because you lost your job. The Republican Party doesn't give a rat's ass about you unless you're making at least four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 a year. And at that point, they begin to care, period, full stop. Of course, unless... You know, you're, you're a member of a church where the pastor is making big bucks and will preach Republican Party voting from the pulpit. In that case, the Republican Party loves you. And although that's all, you know, all they're going to support is your, pastor, your pastor's right to do that and not lose his tax exemption. Or if you, if you hate abortion, the Republican Party loves you because, hey, maybe you'll ignore all that economic stuff and just vote abortion. Um, and you know, I'm sure that there's a few other ways. Oh, if you're if you're a gun, you know, if you, if you if you makes you, makes you feel safe or makes you feel masculine to have a gun, and uh, you know, then the Republican Party loves you. Of course, they're heavily funded by the gun manufacturers. Not that there aren't a lot of Democrats who have guns out there, but anyhow, yes, I get your point, John. You want to make a final the red meat that's along? offered to the people, the working class at the bottom, to just def you know diffuse. Their, their own miserable uh, condition. The only way out of this, and history has proven this, especially Western hist modern history, is social democracy. And if, if people want to understand what the problem is, they should uh, watch uh, Babylon Ber Berlin, which goes through this whole process that we're going through right now. Of course, it's a bit different because they have an aristocracy and a different history and not a strong, as strong an economy. But I would never say it can't happen here, and you should watch it. It's a great, great show. But social democracy. It's available on Netflix. And social democracy does actually create more peaceful, more loving, more compassionate, more just societies. Angela Davis said that the other day on Amy uh, Goodman's show. You know, it, 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 uh, it just has been borne out. Uh, you know, they sold us a bill of goods. Uh, Reagan said we're all going to be rich. Well, I didn't believe it then, and I really don't believe it 40 years later.